You're listening to Season 7 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast. Brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us and here's this week's episode. Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome to... Season 7 of... Home Ed Matters. Uh, episode... Episode one. Episode number one. Uh, my name's Luke. My name's Eden. And can you believe we've started our seventh year academic year of home education? Whoa, that's so cool. It's come really quickly. Yeah, seems just yesterday we were starting for the first time. I know. We were looking around all the schools to decide whether I would go to school or not. I know, yeah, we did look yeah. around a couple of schools and then we decided uh, that was our point of decision. Yeah. Not to send you in the first place. They were really noisy. Seven years later. Wow. Here we are. Um, so, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Um, we didn't really have a break between season six and season seven. We had four months. Uh, not four months. Four, oh, wait, four weeks. Four weeks, but we kept on podcasting because of yes. lockdown. Uh, but basically, we made a decision. We'd just start again. We would wanted to start the next academic year. You guys were desperate to do. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, so we thought maybe we'll get ahead of ourselves a bit now. Yeah, so we can go camping when we are allowed to. Out of lockdown. Um, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. We are. If you can hear the rustling, it's because we're sitting. We've got a tent up in the garden. Yeah, we're sitting in the tent. We're sitting in the tent. Um, there's loads of birds. There's over the bird us. song. It's actually a bit more overcast than I expected. Yeah. I thought it was going to be sunny today. Uh, I've had to interrupt your weeding. weeding. Yeah. Why, why have you been doing weeding? Um, because I we need to get enough money for the walkie-talkies, which me and Asher are saving up for. So you're just earning some money doing some weeding? Yeah, they're coming tomorrow. I'm doing a really good job, by the way. Yeah, thanks. So, well done. And it means that I don't have to do all the weeding. Yeah, it's not you anymore. Not just me. Right, um, yep. last year we followed a specific curriculum. Yeah, we did, called Wizards and Wands. Um, but in the years before that, and this year, we've you have each made up your own name yeah. for our learning. So what other names, what names we had in the past? Um, well, we had Rainbow Learners, Funny Giggling School. Oh, wait, I think that those two were the other way around. Um, Black Pearls, um, and what was the other one? Black Pearls, Golden, and then Golden Dragons, and then we had Wizards and Wands. Yeah. And now we have Chocolate Diamonds. And what's Asha calling his learning this year? Master Wu's teachings. Master Wu in uh, honour of Master Wu from Ninjago. Yeah, he loved Ninjago. Um, as the same reason that we have a chicken called <laughs> Golden, Golden Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> uh, who, but actually the name really suits her. Yeah, so, she's, sometimes you call her Golden Winja because she's really loud. She is really loud. Uh, if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear the occasional chirrup in the background <laughs> from the chickens. That was me, um, by the way. I can mainly just hear normal birds. Yeah. Garden birds. Uh, so we more focused on Ambleside again this year. Yeah. Um, but but um, it is American history, so mum's had to make it. Yeah, so we're doing quite a few substitutions. There's a blog post there somewhere that I haven't quite got around to writing. Yeah. Um, and which era is the main focus of our learning? Victorians. So you've been really looking forward to doing, to yeah. doing the Victorians. Always wanted to. So what is new in some of the things we're doing. So we've only had one week of our new academic year. Um, well, we've been doing listenings, like, after a quiet time, which used to be Harry Potter, but we didn't used to do that before. So we've been, like, doing our some of our readings we're listening to on Audible or yeah. LibriVox. Yeah, so an audiobook after quiet time, uh, yeah. which is usually after lunch. Uh, so yes. Yeah, for Wizards and Wands, we, we listened to the entire Harry Potter books. Yeah, that was so fun. So we listened to some different things this time around. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we did Napoleon, but I think Mummy's changed that. I think, we might, I think we might substitute that. Yeah, I yeah, think we've made... We made we're making some substitutions. So. Yeah. Um, okay, what else is new? Um, well, I do the stuff I do in the mornings, because, yeah, I do, like, Grammarland and all the new... And um, some of the... Uh, like different things yeah. so when, as soon as you get up you've always got a number of activities to do yes by ourselves 
And this year you're following Grammarland. Yeah. Which is a bit different. So what kind of activities do you have to do on Grammarland? Um, well, I have to read the chapter about Grammarland and then I have to go onto the iPad and um, like um, do the bit like um, there's a poem which you have to learn and stuff. Okay, so that's all yeah. about... So that's literacy stuff. Yeah. Um, and you have to do... Like, we loved the Quark Chronicles last year. Yeah, we did so I did botany. Quark. Um, we did Quark notebooks now. Okay, yeah, so and what topic I, is that? And that's, like, zoology this year, so... Um, and what is zoology? Um, it's, like, the study of animals, I think. Yeah, good, yeah? Yeah. So you've got that workbook to do one morning a week? Yeah, and um, but I do, like, mostly all of that for okay. Wednesdays. So those are new things? Yeah. Um, so things that are different in your first thing in the morning routine. Anything else different in the first thing in the morning routine? Um, not really, no. What's the same? Um, maths and Latin. So what maths are you doing? Um, well, I've just, I'm nearly at the end of grade three. And this is Math Mammoth? Yeah, Math Mammoth. That we're working on. So we've, we've yeah. tried lots of different things. We do, we've yeah. also done Life of Fred over the years. We used to do Life of Fred, but now we're doing more Math Mammoth. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, and but then... we are still listening to Life of Fred. Yeah, and then, uh, well, it's good to approach it from different angles, yeah. isn't it? And... What else is the same? Um, well, did you doing our readings in the morning. Did you mention Latin? Yeah, Latin. So we're still going through vocab, because um, we follow the Cambridge Latin course. Yeah, do um, Latin before seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. So I, um, and we've got some good good vocab sheets on that. that uh, I actually need to, pr- I've printed out, but I haven't given to you the next, yeah. the ones for the, the module we just did. Yes. Um, so they're all good things in the first thing in the morning. And then... Um, Lockdown is still around, and Belle's nursery isn't going. Isn't really taking her. Um, so Mirabelle is three, yeah. um, and so well, this, nearly four. But uh, so this week, actually, we've switched her funding, and she's just going for a few mornings a week to a childminder called Little Pebbles to do some age-appropriate learning yeah. uh, and stuff while you big two are doing your learning in the mornings. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe some of you that are home educating a wide range of ages, you know, you find that yeah. a bit of a challenge. So, um, she really thrives on that. Uh, doesn't yeah, mean she's she going to go to school, but it's just yeah helping in the meantime. So yeah, it's nice not to have, you know, her running around. It's more easier to concentrate. Well, yeah, it just means she yeah. can focus on things that, are, that she, she will find fun and get that attention. Yeah. And mummy can give you the attention you need while I'm working. Yeah. Um, upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. Yeah. Um, so we used to do so. Power hour is our big thing first thing in yeah, the like, like after breakfast. Two. But we are because of dropping Bell off at slightly different times. Yeah. Are we doing it in chunks? Yeah, we're doing it in chunks. So we do a little bit um, while we're having breakfast, but it's usually second breakfast because <laughs> everyone else we all have our breakfast really early in the morning. Um, and then we do our rest of it snack time, which is nine thirty ish. And what kind of things are we doing in Power Hour? Um, like Life of Fred, Children of the Voice, so we've actually finished that. And um, yeah, all the diff- are like artists and composers and poets. So that's one of the things that's the same. So we've always got like a hymn of the month, haven't we, yeah. that we listen to. It's really um, nice. We've got lots of and read alouts. A folk song. Yeah, the what's folk the... song's really nice. Which is the folk um, song this time around? How many miles to London town? Three score and ten. Can I get there by candlelight? Yes, I'm back again. Open the gates and let us through. Not without a back and a boo. There's your back and there's your boo. Open the gates and let us through. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I don't yeah. think I know that one. So that's quite Charlotte Masony, where we've got a yeah. folk song of the week, a month, like a hymn of the month. Um, we do our, our like um, we've been m- mem- memorising verses and things, haven't we? Yeah. And quotes and poems. Um, yeah, composer and artist studies. So they're yes. things that we've carried on always. Um, yeah. And doing... you're up to your hundredth picture, I think, aren't you? Um, yeah, we've done. Yeah, it is our hundredth picture. So who's the com- who's the artist study this term? Um, I think it's Hen. Henri Matisse. Yeah, His so name's really hard to pronounce. Again, Victorian era. Yeah. Okay. And um, I can't remember who our composer is. Uh, Schumann. Schumann. Yeah, Robert Schumann. So. Well, not Robert. Maybe. And we, so you listen to a piece of music. Yeah. And describe how it makes you feel and things. What other yeah. kind of questions do you think about? Um. Well, yeah. Like um, we do like the different kinds of painting paintings. Like um, this week 
we did um, some of the art, like um, Omri Matisse. So we um, cut out like different coloured pieces of paper and made like a collage with them. Okay, yeah. which is a bit like him. Yeah, because he did that kind of thing. He called it painting with scissors. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, we'll take a break. Yes. And then we'll come back and talk about some other things we've been doing. Yeah. But that gives you a flavour of some of the things that are the same and some of the things that are different yeah. this year. Back in a sec. You're listening to the Home End Matters podcast. Okay, it's been a sec. Yeah. Um, what we didn't talk about was your... We've changed languages. Yes. Not for everything. Um, <laughs> we had... What language had we been focusing on last year? French. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. We felt we got to a point with that. It's just a bit. Well, we wondered whether Spanish might be a more useful... Yeah, Spanish is more useful because it's the second most used language in the world. It's a more common language. Yeah. So we've signed up to Wino, O-U-I-N-O, um, for various language things. So you've been doing yeah. Wino Spanish. How's Wino that been going? Wino Spanish. Um, good, yeah. They do different things about, um, like, uh, like, um, like, like, um, hello and where is the restroom and stuff like that. <laughs> so you're learning phrases? Yeah. Okay. Different phrases and um, you get different stars and stuff. We've also, um, we've got a great inventor's book. Yeah. Uh, because the Victorian era was also around the Industrial Revolution. Um, yes. And it, so there was a big technological change. Yeah. Um, and that's by Frank Backman. So have you thought about, have you focused on uh, some inventors this week? Um, or one inventor? Well, we're doing um, James Watt, I think. Yeah? Yeah. He's, um, who Watt. like, yeah. James Watt. James yeah, he invented the um, steam engine. Wait, I think he improved upon the steam engine. Yeah, I think Robert Stevenson. Stevenson's yeah. rocket was the first one. But yeah, James Watt improved it, yeah? Yeah. Um, and yeah. steam power was one of the big things that powered the Industrial Revolution, yeah, it wasn't it? Yeah, used to be coal, but now it's steam. Okay, so James Watt? Yeah. James Watt. And um, that was what we were really focusing on, like um, what he liked and stuff. and his, What he liked, yeah. yeah. What and what he did. <laughs> And, and stuff. any other inventors this week? Um, not really, no, we're just focusing on him. James Watt, I think. yeah. Okay. Um, now, we've mentioned in previous episodes that we've re we're really enjoying the Biology for Every Kid uh, experiment book by Van Cleave. Yeah. Van Cleave. Um, and that really tied in with... Um, that really tied in with uh, the Quark Chronicle stuff that we've done. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, what experiments have we done this week from that? So we did um, like um, yeast and sugar and see if the yeast would make, while eating the sugar, would make the balloon rise and it did. So what? So that was, we put some yeast in a small bottle With and a balloon over the top and warm water. And okay. sugar. So what was that showing? And um, that like when the yeast like eats it up, it like creates more air. So it's a space. chemical reaction. Yeah, chemical reaction. And the conclusion was... That it worked. That it worked. It did inflate yeah. the balloon. Like, all of the things from there have actually worked, where not many other science experiments do. Yeah, it's a good, that, yeah. that is, a, is a good book, isn't it? Because they're all yeah, really straightforward, but actually genuinely working. they're working. Yeah. So what was the experiment with the celery and the blue water? Oh, so we um, put food colouring in the um, blue water um, to make it more blue. And we put the celery in it and we made sure the bottom was like, you know, not all dry and we had to cut it off a bit to make it more wet. Okay. And then the tops of the leaves, right, we thought they were turn blue and we were right. And they why did. have they turned blue? Because um, the like roots in the celery, they were like sucking it up and making it go to the top. So it's because it's a vascular system, isn't it? It sucks, yeah. it sucks up. Capillary action. It's basically a straw, isn't it? And yeah, that it's like a straw. Proves that flowers suck root up. Yeah. Through, uh, suck water, suck water up through their roots through the xylem, yeah. um, which is the cell structure, and it comes out. Yes. Um, there's been lots in the news recently about um, diversity. What's diversity? Um, and uh, the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah. Um, so we've had lots of chats about. Um, prejudice and privilege yeah. and racism. And um, we? yeah, we've done like an African kind of theme on our bookshelf. So we've looked really hard at the books that we'd selected, yeah. um, and we know it's not just enough just 
just to read books about it, but it's yeah. a start because we it's want to start. be anti-racist, not yeah. just passively not yeah. racist. Yeah. Um, so what was one of the books we read at the moment? Um, Africa is not a country. And I, I thought it was, um, I thought I was going to say Africa is not a country, it's a community. But no, I was wrong. Africa is not a country, it's a continent. Yeah. So we've, we've read quite a lot of books about that. Um, yeah. We started to look at Harriet Tubman. Yes, Harriet Tubman. Um, Did a lot about her. So, but it's, we also recognise it's not, it's not enough just to look at, um, I guess, uh, people, like people like Harriet Tubman who were kind of, I guess, famous yeah. Um, and breakthrough people, but also it's important to look at the ordinary lives of people who are different, yeah. um, you know, who and who could be treated differently because of the colour of their skin. So yeah. um, we've got a whole load of different books that keep arriving. Um, that we've we've cha- we're changing some of the books that we're reading this year so that it's yeah. more diverse. More diverse. Because there's a shocking statistic that only four percent of characters in children's books are B A M E, you know, Black, yeah. Asian, or Middle Eastern. Um, yeah. You know, so. so um, like Enid Blyton, they're all white and stuff. I know, yeah, very similar. So we just need to be yeah. aware of that unconscious bias yeah, and work our way through that. Um, so, yeah, Africa's not, not a country, among other books that yeah. we've been reading. And we'd love to hear your recommendations yeah. uh, on, on other ones to do that so that we can be more balanced um, as we go forward. Yes. Um, well, something we've started to do on Friday. So we've got the Super Silly Mad Libs Junior book. Yeah, it's Highly recommend so it. Um, and this is about playing with words. And yeah. so we're doing it on a Friday's part of our routine is to do this. Um, yes. And tell us, Eden, what the what kind of thing you had to do this week. So um, you have to fill in the words, right? And um, like there's a star for nouns and there's like um, a funny face for adjectives and a arrow for verbs and then um, like a question mark for misc which i don't know why Mis- miscellaneous is. words yeah and then um, there's different spaces with the um symbols beneath them and you have to fill them in because there's like a list of what you can add and then um, this one was how to make an ice cream sundae so you can swap around basically nouns adjectives verbs and other words yeah to make it really silly yes so why don't you read it out so how to make an ice cream sundae Step one, always start by placing two delicious fishy scoops of ice cream into a bowl. A good sc- sh- scoop should be about the size of your finger. <laughs> Step two, choose a hot caramel, chocolate sauce and a heap of toenails over the scoop of ice cream. The ice cream may start to bounce a little, but don't worry. Step three, next sprinkle on some salty sprinkles, a great bit of squirt of whipped cream and a handful of rubber bands. Be creative and add what tepper ever toppings your eyebrow desires step four now you're ready to cry grab a great big spoonful and shove it into your earlobe to see how it tastes what a tasty treat well i hope you can tell uh which words we swapped around yeah so you all three did that yeah to much hilarity there yes. was a lot of giggling. So Mirabels very... were just like, the ice cream may start to wiggle a little, but don't worry. It's so funny when you start <laughs> swapping things around, isn't it? It's yeah. fun to play, play around with, with words. words. In fact, Asher enjoyed it so much, he wanted to buy the book himself so he could do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. But we'll, we're, we're going to pace ourselves and go through it. Yeah. Um, well, apart from that, so that gives you a flavour of um, some of the things we've been doing. And that's yeah. only a week's worth of learning. Yeah, I know. Other things we're doing in lockdown. Um... Still lots of baking. Yeah, I've been doing lots of baking. What did you make yeah. yesterday? Um, we did um, blue food colouring biscuits. Blue cookies, which we yeah. called... Blookies. Blookies. <laughs> um, this week you managed to Zoom various friends, haven't you? Yeah. FaceTime them. So much that um, Ashley's has watched like, a whole, a, two whole series of Ninjago. <laughs> While you've been on the phone to your friends. Yeah, because it's <laughs> always it? around four o'clock. Um, we've been doing a lot of gardening. Yes. Things growing really well. Loads. Yeah, my raspberries are coming along well. And your rose. Yeah, it started flowering for the first time ever. Now, it's not technically the Eden rose. Sadly. Um, we did take cuttings. Mm. That's your middle name, isn't it, Rose? Yeah. Um, and last weekend, we queued for an hour in the rain yes. at a plant sale. Yeah. Oh, was that last weekend? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, feels like just yesterday. But we got some really interesting plants. Yeah, it was. It was really interesting. What did we get? Um, we got this chocolate mint. Chocolate mint, yeah, that yeah. we've put in a planter. I made some planters out of some old decking boards, so that's outside yeah. the chicken coop. We still need you to make a treehouse out of them. Yeah, um, we got a curry plant. Yes, your herb a curry garden. Plant. Yeah, uh, we'll hellebore. Plant it. Yeah, we'll what does plant the hellebore it? actually do? Well, it's, it does flower, but it's just it's got big yeah. hand-shaped fronds. Just like 
I am a hellebore. <laughs> and we also got some um, Jacob's Ladder, which is like yes. a woodland type plant, so we need to work out where to put that. Yeah. Maybe an Asherah Bells part of the garden. Yeah, my garden's getting quite full. And our veg and stuff are doing really well. Yeah. So, and we were given even more sunflower seeds from our neighbour. Yeah, thank you, Bob. So, that's kind of it really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We'd love to hear how you're getting on. Maybe you're on your summer break. Yeah. Maybe you've carried straight on. We'd love to hear where you're up to in your yeah. learning. We're on this 98th episode. Yeah, this is our 98th episode. So, uh, in two episodes' time, hopefully we'll remember, we might try and do something special for a 100th yeah, episode. Yeah, like, da, da, da. Um, it's very rare for a podcast to get that that high, high. you know. Many podcasts yeah. don't get that much, so we've been so, pretty consistent. Whoop, whoop. And thank yeah. you for being with us, however yeah, long you've been with you. us. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, time to go. Goodbye. Bye. You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you, so email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters and visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your Home Ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond. Well grown quite fond of you Some people may think you're strange but I think I'm strange too It's raining outside And it's raining inside too I want to go home place where I'm known and where I know you walk familiar streets